It was built by the Bristol Aeroplane Company, but only six, uh, sorry, 11 of them still exist. This one may be familiar to you for all sorts of reasons. And uh, it's one of those back in Filton, ready for a restoration. Alice Bouvery has been following her journey. The Bristol Freighter, compared to Concorde, certainly no beauty, but she managed a lot of firsts. By the end of World War II, even tanks were airborne, so why not the roadster of peace? In 1948, the first air ferry to France, taking two cars and their passengers over to the beach resort of Le Touquet every half an hour. She was a global player too, bought across the world from South America to New Zealand, where she revolutionised the world of air cargo. Airlines all over the world started appearing in New Zealand wanting to see this strange aeroplane that had containerised freight on board, because nobody's ever done that. They all packed aeroplanes with separate manhandled boxes. And they all started with this little airline in New Zealand in Bristol Freighters. Despite her looks, the Bristol Freighter had a touch of glamour. Carrie Grant graced her steps. She even got herself a part in the James Bond film Goldfinger. Inevitably, her heyday passed. NZ5911 ending up abandoned on an airfield in New Zealand, painted in camouflage colours after seeing action in the Vietnam War. Without intervention from Aerospace Bristol, she could have ended up going for scrap. But two months on a ship, a journey up the M5, a tricky right-hand turn, stop, stop. and she's home. Home for now, the massive Brabazon hangar at Filton. I think it's very important because it is... Uh, as far as we're concerned, uh, a fairly um, unusual aeroplane. We made 214 of them, sold them around the world as a private venture, and it was very successful. In bringing her back to Filton to her, her birthplace, you know, it was the right decision, but uh, you know, it comes with some challenges of now having to be able to find some future accommodation for the aircraft, and that's going to take you know, some considerable amount of time and, and further funding. So, unfortunately, while she's being conserved, you know, the aircraft is not going to be on public display. Sadly, that could take years. So, for now, the only choice is to remember her in the good old days. Alice Bouvery, BBC Points West, Filton. She's gorgeous, isn't she? Mm. Going from those MGM shots to I today. I love looks seeing really it in Goldfinger, yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. Lovely to see her back home. I know plenty of you actually enjoyed watching our Facebook Live earlier. We had her going up the motorway and everything. People watching our big old plane in Canada, apparently, Dubai, and even New Zealand. But that makes sense, doesn't it, yes, if they'd fallen in love with truly them. truly international now. Trowbridge one day, Toronto the next. Still to come. <laughs>